Hey guys, it's Moe and welcome back to my channel. So this is my Ishikawa vlog and unfortunately because it was my very first vlogging experience, I was really nervous and awkward in front of the camera. So excuse my awkwardness. Anyways, let's show you guys how Ishikawa was. I just went to the um, Yamashiro hot spring, one of the four hot springs in Kaga Onsen. The other three are called Yamanaka, Akata, Yamazu, and Awazu. And this is Yamashiro. I feel refreshed now, I feel healthy. It's got a lot of um, health effects as well. So I feel like I'm healthier now a little bit, and I feel like my skin's, skin's smoother, and I feel like I'm prettier now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to eat Onsen Tamaga, which is boiled eggs cooked in a hot spring or hot spring steam. It's supposed to be really healthy as well. So I'm about to eat that. So I just got two of the hot spring eggs, onse tamago. This one's of the white egg, this one's the red egg. It's called red egg, it actually looks brown. And I'm about to eat them by themselves. I like it. It's good. You guys should definitely taste these as well. At the hot spring, they always have a hot spring egg, so I definitely recommend you guys taste it. Well, I finally got to the hotel room in Kanazawa. This is um, around Kanazawa Station. We just went to eat some um, seafood at Izakaya. Um, and I'm just going to relax now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys! So we actually changed our plan today and we're at Kendokan right now. There's um beautiful sakura around. It's really nice. There's actually a festival going on. There's a lot of street food. I tried gohei mochi, which is a rice cake, a traditional rice cake with miso paste on top. It was sweet and it was really good. I love mochi, so I loved it. Though it's sakura season, there's not, there's actually not that many people, not as many people as in Tokyo. So it's definitely a place to go if you wanna do like a tranquil, really calm hanami. And I'm excited to see a lot more street food as well. So I'll show you guys all the food that I'll be eating. This fruit candy, mine's a strawberry candy. Um, there are there are also grape candies and apple candies, and I got the strawberry candy, and I'm about to taste it with Kim. So we're about to leave Kendokuen now and we're gonna head to the next location to experience making Japanese traditional confectionery. I'm so excited! And I'll show you guys how it's done! So we're here at Koshiyama Kanseido to experience making Japanese confectionery. And we're about to start. Let's go inside! Bye. 
So I just had the Japanese sweet that I just made for Odigo video and I literally feel really sick. I had too much sugar today. I feel like sugar overdose, but dinner's coming up at 8.30, which is in like three hours. And I'm actually really excited because it's going to be Kaga cuisine, which is unique to Kaga area in Ishikawa prefecture. And it's supposed to be really good and healthy as well. So I'm actually excited for that. So I'll see you guys at the restaurant. Ishikawa trip and right now I'm at Higashi Higashi Chaya District Higashi Machi Chaya District which is um tea houses district it's really beautiful and as you noticed probably I'm in kimono this is rental kimono it was only for around $55 it's pretty cheap you get to wear this for like a whole day yeah it's really nice you guys should definitely check it out and try this as well when you're here So we just had a photo shoot on the sakura trees and we're just gonna oh hello who's this i don't know Chris. yeah we just had a photo shoot a professional photo shoot actually um kim, kim the, the photographer kim was uh where is very professional where is kim get in there girl wait kim say, say your name say your name say your name kim da photography kim, kim da photography, photography. <laughs> Okay, we're about to eat lunch. We're at this curry place. I've been a huge fan of Kanazawa curry for the for the past couple months, so I'm so excited to eat. Yeah, I'll show you guys how it is. My Kanazawa curry is here. Check this out and see how yummy it looks. right now heading to karaoke oh, time okay we just took the photo we're at karaoke yay we're gonna be singing for an hour to explore a little more in kimono. So we just went to the pond to have a photo shoot and then what just happened there? We just turned into a tourist spot. <laughs> 
somehow. <laughs> yeah, everyone really was taking photos with us, jumping in front of us, taking yep. selfies. I was like, okay. So a huge group of like, what, uh, French people? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know what like they were. I don't know, a huge group Europeans. of like, European people yeah. just like came to us and like started <laughs> randomly taking photos of us without even asking. Yeah. And then like, a bunch of people just gathered around us and yeah. just, we just became a tourist spot. Yeah. So. It was really weird. <laughs> it was so weird. I was like, I don't even know what to do right now. But it was a fun experience. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we just took off our kimono and we're about to head back to the hotel. We're exhausted, oh my god. We don't even have energy left to go out to eat dinner, so we're probably gonna have like just random food from Conveni or something tonight. But, Kanazawa, it's been good. I love it so much. And this is actually the end of our trip in Ishikawa. We actually got to do a lot in Ishikawa, and well, especially around Kanazawa area. You could say that this is my favorite place in Japan. It's just so beautiful. People are actually really friendly and nice. They're very helpful. And I just definitely recommend you guys come here once. Anyways, our next destination is Toyama. We're driving there tomorrow morning and we're gonna be exploring a lot again. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how it is in Toyama. So I'll see you guys in the next prefecture. Bye!